When I started skiing, there were very, I mean, you could go to a ski area and chances are you were the only black there. Arthur Clay, who lives in the South Shore neighborhood, found his love for skiing in the late 60s, back when there were just over a dozen black ski clubs across the country. I had never skied before. I fell getting, getting on the chair, fell got, getting off the chair, fell all the way down the hill. When I got to the bottom, I said, I'll never get on another pair of skis again. But he did. And eventually, Clay met Ben Finley from California. And together, they founded the Brotherhood of Skiers in 1973. We decided to all get together in one spot to promote skiing or, or winter sports amongst mon minorities. It grew into, we hope to one day have uh, young black kids participating in the Olympics. Clay, who turns 85 in March, says there's nothing like the thrill of skiing. The wind in your face, the way you're just the, the, the exhilaration, you're, hey, I can do this. I, I can do this, you know. Just to have the opportunity to, to do something that you thought you'd never do. The Brotherhood holds a ski summit every year in February. And despite his plan to hang up his skis, Clay says he is still planning on attending the summits as long as he's alive, wearing his trademark derby hat. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sorely miss being out on, on the slopes. I'm planning to ski the last time next year. Next year will be our 50th anniversary. Anybody 60 years of age and still skiing is a legend. <laughs> it has been a blessing to be able to do uh, what I've, I've done in the skiing community. So for now, he is hoping to grow the community by getting more young black skiers on the slopes. Keep coming back. That's what I tell them now, keep coming back. Regardless of whether or not you had a good time, come back because you're gonna do better next time. Cheryl Burton, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.